welcome back to Fat Nights at Frenny's. I'm gonna be continuing night two today, so if you haven't seen my previous video, definitely look it up. It's covering all of what I did before getting to this point in the game. So it's very important for you to watch that previous video so you're up to date on everything that has happened. Uh, so far, we've been chased by Chiku, uh, who just wants to offer us cake. That's all she wants to do. She just wants to give us a little bit of cake, and the night guard has been running away from her for some reason. Uh, we also took a look at a bunch of computers. There was a lot of interesting emails. Some of them um, by Flying Shark, my best friend, so it was really interesting to see that. And uh, yeah, now I'm trying to access a specific computer to retrieve the recordings that I said I would get for Mary. So that's what I'm currently doing here. Uh, we have a little note. Can I pick it up? There you go. Note 5. God damn, somebody call in a pest exterminator. There are probably hundreds of rats crawling around in the ventilation ducts. They make a lot of noise and they smell disgusting. I'm gonna leave that on screen. I know there's a lot of Spanish viewers. I know I have a lot of Spanish viewers, so for you guys, feel free to translate that. Um, as much as I've been learning a little bit of Spanish, I sure as hell can translate all of that. My knowledge is not good enough for me to understand what was written there, but uh, for my Spanish viewers, have fun translating if you want to. I'd appreciate it. Oh, okay, another note, another note, the phone guy note. Guys. I know we're going through some hard times at the nightclub, but harder my... Willie. I received command of this place in deplorable situations, and I've tried to improve it. Please understand that everything possible is being done to resolve all complaints, and we are achieving it little by little. You have my word. If whoever has problems with me and says that I'm always drunk, let him come to my office to tell me face to face. Face to phone. And don't forget to bring some cold beers for the talk. <laughs> Alright, nice. Sure seems like something you'd say. What's up with this part? Warehouse, I don't have the password, unfortunately. Uh, this door is locked. This one ain't. Maybe there's a password here? That could be what I'm looking for. Oh, jeez, okay. Well, I picked up a CD. What is that about? Employee note about donuts. Well, we know that's Flying Shark. Um, or it probably relates to Flying Shark. Joseph, I have hidden the box with the last donuts. I've put them in a storage room on the second floor. I decided to hide them there as I think that prankster Flying Shark is the one who sticks his dick in the Let him ruin these last ones. If you want to go get some, you'll have to eat them in disguise. I can. You will need to input a password. So I put it on this CD along with a little gif. I know you like Freddy, so you will surely enjoy it. This is putting a disturbing image in my head. Flying shark sticking his dick in, in donuts is uh. Wow. <laughs> Seriously? Important notice, no more donuts left, and there won't be any more because of some of you filthy pigs. <laughs> this suddenly became a game where Flying Shark is one of the antagonists, and, and his villainous deed is sticking his dick inside of donuts. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I, I didn't see that one coming. I sure as hell didn't see that one coming. The game took an interesting turn, to say the least. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, is there anything inside the fridge? Nope. Seems to be empty. Can't go here. We can go here. Maybe I'll be able to play the CD on some of the computers here. Oh, God. I'm hearing... Okay, that noise is really, really close to me now. It's very close to me. Ooh, I don't like this. But anyway, I found what I was looking for. Let's see what we got. 
Nice music. Just, just music. That's all it is. I'm just now seeing on the screen what I was supposed to look at. Um, Freddy's having a great time, she's enjoying the music, and... 3464, okay, 3464. That's the password, I got it. Please, please keep that, keep that in mind for me, okay? 3464. You guys got that? Did you write it down, please? 3464, really important, don't forget. Because I probably will. <laughs> My memory is not what it used to be. Uh, but I would assume it's for the warehouse. 34-64. Yeah, there you go. All good. What do we have in the warehouse? Not much, just a lot of empty boxes. The donuts! Oh my god! The donuts! <laughs> Don't let Flying Shark see this! Don't let Flying Shark anywhere near those donuts! He's gotta taint them. <laughs> Don't let Flying Shark anywhere near the donuts, okay? I think in my last video I was saying you should give him some donuts. I take it back. I take it back. I take it... Take it back. Just, just don't, don't do it. Also, nice green screen. Nice green screen. Reminds me of the one I got. Cool stuff. Cool beans. Got a note here. The uh, fourth note. Where did the owner of the nightclub go? Was he partying again? The new manager doesn't pay me enough, and he spends his time drinking and making fun of me. I hope I can go relax with the animatronics soon. Don't we all? They're crazy and everything, but he urges me. He was afraid of dying. May he not be born. You talking about you talking about Deathborn? Is that what this is? Is that a reference to Deathborn? It's one of my failed characters throughout my channel, folks. Like, if you don't know who Deathborn is, I attempted to make, like, a scary, spooky character, but um, it was a miserable failure called Deathborn. Ooh, look at that mouse pad. Did you see the mouse pad? That was a bonfy mouse pad. Very cool. This must be the computer man I was talking about. We finally found it. Pomni! Pomni! No, okay. Cover cover what's down there. I want to see Pomni. I want to see Pomni. Get that out of there. I don't want to see Futa. I want to see Pomni. Can we please see the Pomni one? Huh? Pomni is one of my favorite characters. I really appreciate Pomni. If, if one of the animatronics at some point have like the Pomni outfit, that'd be, that'd be dope. Hmm. I... I always have a hard time with those myself. I finally managed to fit it. Well, now let's look at those files. Or let's look for those files, excuse me. Of course. We don't have them yet. We're looking for them. There's a lot. There's a lot. Bingo! I'd better hurry up and copy the files. <laughs> Gotta appreciate how uh, sucking a dick is an option. You never know. You never know. Come on, come on! Almost... I'm just... I'm appreciating all the scenes with Chiku right now. There you are. And he dies! The end! You just... yeah, he's dead. You should have been more of a gentleman with Chiku. Phew, that was pretty close. Oh, my ass! Luckily, I fell on something that cushioned my fall. Markiplier? Did I, I... I think I saw... Yep, Markiplier. 
Markiplier was a janitor, and now he's dead. Janitor, recently retired. Tired. Yeah, no kidding, he retired. Jesus Christ, you gotta have a lot of, a lot of upset Markiplier, Markiplier fans. I tell you what, I tell you what, they won't appreciate this. How dare you, phone guy? How dare you? <laughs> Take better care of your Markiplier, ladies and gentlemen. This corpse, how long has it been here? Months? This, this can't be true. It can't be. Marky Moo. That is really gruesome, not gonna lie. That is really, really gruesome. You even have- hey, you got the pink mustache right here. You see that? Right over here. Just trying to see if there were, like, other references, but that seems to be it. That seems to be it, but, um, okay. Alright. Can I pick up the janitor key card or something like that? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Because I needed it back when I was up. So I don't know if I can pick it up. Doesn't seem like there is a key card. I have no idea where I am. Yeah, I don't know either. I've got no idea either. It is very spoopy. I will try everything to survive. I will try everything to give Chiku a bath. This is what it's all about for me, okay? Like, ever since I started playing Fat Nights at Frenny's, since day one, it was just about giving Chiku a bath. Seeing that I'm back in the vents, I really, really hope I'm gonna see the Pope Rat. I really hope he's gonna show up, especially since I joined the cult. You know, there's a Pope Rat cult that I joined in my last video. So it'd be really, really nice if you could see him. So I'm trying to pay close attention to see if I can hear something or see like a little hint of where he might be. He's gotta be around. Oh! I'm hearing something. I'm hearing something. There, There is definitely something in the vents. Some blood here. Seems to be a dead end. I was hearing a loud thud in the vents, so... I feel like I'm being followed. And I'm... I'm here! Is that where I was supposed to go? I don't know. Let's have a look. Of course, another locked door. Uh, there seems to be a note. Can I read that? I cannot read that. So it's just a random piece of paper. Uh, there seems to be... Ooh! Screwdriver! She really, really, really wants to give him a piece of cake. I got tears of joy right now. I'm, just, I'm so happy she found this. Oh, now we can. Ventilation ducts, floor 2, sector 3. Oh my god. Okay. I probably should take like a screenshot of that. Also, nice. Sex all! <laughs> I see that. I see that. Okay, let me take a screenshot here. Some of you might go, oh, Max. You're cheating. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm being smart, okay? That's what I'm doing. There's a difference. There's a difference. There's nothing that said I couldn't take a screenshot. So, going here, we want to go towards the top. She's in the vents with us. She's in the vents with us. So, we just continue forward, I believe. It should make the shape of an S. That is definitely not where I was supposed to go. I'm already lost! It took no time at all for me to get lost. 
Okay, I saw Chiku. We're going up. We're going up. Nope. Nope. I know you are, and it breaks my heart to hear you say that. She keeps saying I'm so alone, and that makes me so sad to hear that. Seriously. She's programmed to give us lots of love, is what she says. Okay, I think I found a way out of here. I found a way out of the vents, and it took me a few attempts, because I'm always really bad in those kind of situations. She got rid of the apron. She got rid of the apron. She just wants... She just wants love. I'm already crying! Baby, don't run. That night guard is such a fool. She could get really hurt now. Again! Just taking all kinds of risks? You could really injure Chiku. Are you just gonna leave her there? Are you just gonna leave her there? Never mind! Never mind what's going on around you! Chiku's in front of you and she's seriously hurt! Forget that shit! Chiku needs our help! She's hurt! What is, what is, this is, this is not okay. This is not okay. This is not what I meant by helping Chiku, all right? This is not what I was talking about. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, well, uh, this is for Patreon only. I, I, not a good time for that. Not a good time for that. I'm just gonna fast forward. I am seriously worried right now. You could see, like, even, like, her vision was glitching. I have woken up. Is this the part... Is this the part Fatal Fire said I was gonna cry? Fatal Fire's been making memes about the fact that I was gonna cry towards the end. I've already been crying. I can finally move. If only for a moment. If only for a moment. What do you mean by that? Why am I stained with this red substance? What happened? What happened is that you need a bath is what... That, that That's the only thing we need to focus on. We need to get you out of here and give you a bath. Of course, that's really Chiku. What the hell do you mean? Where am I? Oh no, this can't be happening. Please, Mr. Guard, save me. Free me from this curse. It's in those kind of moments, I'm really glad I got shades on because I'm getting very emotional. Doesn't need to be fixed. I'm losing control again. She just needs medicine. And and someone actually love her. gonna abandon her? Yeah. 
I'm still concerned for Chiku. Like, I, I, I'm sure she's injured. Night Guard, we need to have a talk. We need to have a talk, Night Guard. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna look at the other one. Time is running out. Did you manage to find what you went looking for? I guess. We didn't really get to see what the recordings are, but you did copy something. Woo! How did you manage to sneak in there? How did your first spy mission go? I don't even I'm just thinking about Chiku right now. I don't give a shit. What was the mission again? <laughs> The mission forgot all about it. I kind of forgot about Markiplier too. Hey, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marky Moo. Come closer, handsome. You deserve to get your prize. All right. We'll get your kiss. That's all it cares about. <laughs> so, you know, when Fatal Fire said the Night Guard has a new voice actor, I guess it's just like grunts and other noises. It's not like actually voice lines and whatnot. It's just, yeah, it's just been like sound effects, if anything. Uh, and on the topic of voice actors, god dang, like Chiku's voice actress was phenomenal. The scene was emotional, but it was even more emotional with the performance of the voice actress. It was very, very well done. Hopefully, uh, wherever the voice actor is, we'll have, like, credits that says... <laughs> you rascal! I'll give you another one after I review the recordings. Uh, do we get to see those recordings? I'd be curious. Now, let's take a look at the recordings. You can get those, um... Beautiful emotes in the Fat Nights at Freddy's Discord server. Yeah, Darth Vader, what's up? That's it. That whoever Music cut off. This is good at covering their tracks. God damn it! So we're basically back where we started. Pretty much went through yeah. those ballsack boy cutscenes for nothing. <laughs> Didn't he copy more he files? Have managed to confirm. That there is a culprit behind all this. I we already already knew that, didn't we? Someone messed with the girls. I'm gonna have to censor Ballsack Boy again so many times. I'm not looking forward to that. Specifically, someone with access to the offices who is now trying to cover his tracks. Phone guy. His office is also on the third floor. Why would he even do that? What does he gain from it? We don't know, but I would put him as our first suspect. You have to be careful speaking to him, and gather more evidence if you can. Hmm, this is quite a problem. 
I guess we can count on the cameras. Mm, what else could we do? If only there were witnesses. Mary, I think I'm onto something. It's not a camera, but it can see. What do you mean, boy? Someone who is always there. Someone who always has a clear view of the hallways. <laughs> okay, it could be a solution. <laughs> we just need to get them to talk. I'm really talking if they're in the Christmas special. Not so much this time around. Wow. Compared to night one, night two gives us so much more. Now I'm just... I'm wondering what night three is gonna be like. But yeah, that... Okay, that's it for night two. That's it for night two. Holy moly. What an update this was. And indeed, uh... The bit with Shiku there towards the end was definitely, definitely incredibly sad. I don't know why, like... I would have just stayed there. It seems like Shiku was, like, affected by the fall, because, like, the vents were fixed to the ceiling. It all fell down, and then her vision started getting glitchy, so... Yeah. I feel like she might have uh, hurt herself there. And also, well, also it gave her a chance to be like her former normal self, not the one that's like in lust mode. So I guess there was like a benefit to it, but it also could have like impacted her health even more. She was already sick to begin with, now it, it, maybe it's even worse. I'm just really upset we didn't get to give her a bath. <laughs> she needed a bath! She really needed a bath, but we didn't get to give her one. Uh, but yeah. It was really good to hear a voice. There's one thing, I, I, I just can't thank them enough for actually including her voice. Um, I'm taking a look at the credits here. Obviously, Fatal Fire is credited. Crypto Curves, naturally. Uh, thanks for modeling. Special thanks to Razor. Razor was uh, talking to me quite a bit, so obviously I recognize that name. Uh, but nothing for the voice actors. So I guess it will remain a mystery for now. For now it will. Uh, who knows? Who knows who the voice actors are? Maybe, maybe the voice actors themselves said, Hey, you know what? We don't want to be credited. We don't want our names to show up. Maybe, like, it came from them. It could be. Uh, because... I mean, if they were credited, I would definitely uh, say that I'm really, really satisfied with the performance so far. It's been really good. Hopefully we get even more. So, um, yeah. I hope you knights enjoyed the rest of night two. I sure did. It got emotional, as Fatal Fire said it would. They weren't kidding. And strangely, I'm not crying or still upset right now because, well, Shiku is not dead. That was like the worst thing that could have happened and that was what I feared would happen is that Shiku would have had like a horrible accident because from the meme, it's like Peter Parker crying over Uncle Ben who gets shot in the movie. So I was like, okay, is it literally what's gonna happen here? Is Shiku gonna get shot? Is she gonna be like destroyed? No, it just seems like Chiku is uh, trying to get back to her normal self, trying to get out of lust mode, and um, yeah, we're, we'll need to help her. This is the most important thing in the game now. We need to help her, and the Night Guard has been doing a shit job. Alright, I'm gonna say it again, Night Guard has been doing a shit job. He ought to be doing a lot better than this. I'm really disappointed in him, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, also... Do not give Flying Shark Donuts. Okay, like these are some of the main takeaways from this uh, update. And if there's any major Easter eggs that I miss, let me know in the comment section, okay? Like I might go back and try to find all the Easter eggs I, uh, I missed during my playthrough. So uh, be sure to tell me about it. 
in the comment section. But for now, this video lasted long enough. Uh, possibly one of my longest Fab Nights at Freddy's videos ever. So I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna thank you for watching. Be sure to join the Great Legions Discord server. Be sure to join my Patreon page to see all my videos before they're uploaded on YouTube and to see my videos uncensored. So definitely take a look at that. All the important links will be in the video description. Uh, of course, support Fatal Fire uh, on YouTube and Patreon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for me. So thank you so much for watching. Um, still a little bit heartbroken here. I'm just, again, thankful that Chiku is okay. We'll see her in future updates. We'll see her again. But still, this did get very, very emotional. It was a lot to take in. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be going now. Thank you again for watching. And with that, as always... Take it away!